I've been asked to do some more videos about using main stage with acoustic guitar, so now it's time to fiddle some more with it. And I want to show you first some basic steps that I use to set up my main stage session with acoustic guitar. So going down into really basic stuff, I want to show you guys how I open and set up my main stage sessions. It's really weird, in my opinion, that main stage, when you open it, it doesn't give you an option for a empty or blank preset or session here in these different choices that you can open. So what I've actually done is that I've opened this guitar preset like so and what I've done is that I've basically deleted everything from this preset all patches and all channel strips, like so. So now I have an empty and pure session to start fiddle around with. And I've saved this session as my empty session. So now when I open main stage, I have one session saved that is empty. So let's open my empty session. Like so. And the first thing I do when I start to build a new concert or new sounds is that I save this as, let's say, vlog. So now when I start to actually change the sounds and make some adjustments and save this session, I don't save on top of my empty session. It stays empty. Okay, now that we have empty session, it's time to get some audio in and start to build things up from. Let's create a new patch and we create a new audio channel. Cool. And let's check we get some... Oh yeah, audio comes in. Let's name this guitar and guitar. First, what you need to know and keep in mind when you start to work with main stage is that main stage operates in two levels. First is the concert level, which is your kind of the file icon here. And the other level is patch level which are all these individual sounds and maybe songs you are start to build up from. So what you need to know is that every change and every addition you do in this concert level affects all the patches you start to make. So if I create an audio channel in concert level, it comes also to all my different patches when I start to build things. And I want to keep all my different patches as individual as possible, so I actually don't do anything on concert level. I do everything in different patches here. One thing that I might do in concert level is to put some master audio effects like limiter or compressor or master EQ here so it goes to every patches master output. So it means a little bit more work to build all patches individually from ground up but there's couple easy fixes to speed up 
that process. And one is the duplicate command. You can duplicate the patches you've already created, so you don't have to, for example, make the audio routing every, every single time again and again. Or you can use the patch library here, where you can find all the previous patches you've done in main stage. So I can just pick up one preset that I've already made for acoustic guitar with a basic EQ. Now when I said that I don't do anything in this concert level, there's one big exception for that, and that is the MIDI mapping. So what I do, I've already mapped my MIDI pedal board to different MIDI commands here to change my between my different patches, for example. So it's easy to change between the effects while playing. And then I might do also some additional MIDI mapping in the patch level that doesn't affect to other patches, like I can do like a filter with the expression pedal or something like that. Anything I want. And a couple things that I actually do for my computer when I'm using main stage, especially in the live situation, to make it kind of as easy as possible for a computer to run main stage as smoothly as possible. I use the do not disturb mode, so I don't get any notifications or bling sounds if there's some that I left open. Uh, I, I usually quit every single other program that is open, and I also turn off the internet connection and Bluetooth. Those I don't need during the show. And then I use this app called Caffeine to keep my screen going so the computer doesn't go into the sleep mode. Lastly, in this video I want to point out that I don't use these different performing modes on main stage when I'm performing live concerts. Like for example, main stage has these different modes for edit and actually perform, but I don't like this screen view that much. I prefer to stay on the edit mode during the concerts also, so I can actually see my set list here, and then I can monitor my MIDI mapping, and I can also monitor my mixer window here, so if there's something that is going wrong, or I don't get sound, or whatever, it's really easy to see the problem and make some quick fixes on the fly. So these are basically the first steps that I do with main stage when I start to do new sounds, or plan new concert, or studio session, or whatever. On the next video I will dive into creating different sounds and using effects and how that works and creating actually different patches and how you can start to build, for example, a set list inside the main stage. So stick around in this channel, hit that like button, subscribe and see you on the next video.